Today we're gonna look at a quick overview of Bliss OS on your PC and I'm using a Surface Pro 1. Yes, hello, welcome! Welcome back guys to another tech video with Human and Sutton and today it's a quick overview of Bliss OS as I mentioned. Wow, we have grown so much together. Wow, this is amazing. We're so humbled by your support. Please continue to support us, share our videos, and please subscribe because it really means a lot for Human and Sutton team and cooperation. Okay, so we're here in the home page of the OS and as you can see if we hold it down here we can access our home settings widgets and wallpapers and in the bottom here we have our pinned apps and we can also go to our app drawer and we can find our apps here files chrome or mini switch and open camera and then we can access the notification drawer everywhere we want and we can expand it and we can also access all the Android settings. And one important thing here is Blissify. Blissify your device. So it's a lot of compa lot of customizable things here in Blissify. You have the status bar, you can change the battery clock, heads up, items. We can check here, you can change if your battery style, if you want a circle, a dotted circle, a big circle, you name it. And in bottoms here you can change the power button options, you can change navigation bar, hardware, you name it. It's a lot of customizable things here, we don't have to go through everything, but you can do a lot of things here in Blissify. Okay, we have checked out the OS, it's time to start testing some apps. First, let's go to Chrome and we can check if we can go to a website here, let's start test here the telegraph. Wow, it works seamlessly and I can scroll down and I can read my newspaper here on my tablet. Wow, what an amazing experience. Let's check out YouTube. And here we have a video, meat and potato curry of Roshni Begum. What do you mean curry? Uh, yeah, it's our sister-in-law, so please check her YouTube video out. Roshni Bego and you can change to 1080p here and we can take full screen and we can fast forward here in in the video seamlessly as you can see so that was the two apps okay and it's time to test out the camera here and Bliss OS unfortunately didn't have a stock camera app with the OS so me and Sutton we installed the open camera app so let's check it out and you can see me here and it works perfectly and you can also use the other camera here the and you can see we cannot see soup then so it just uh, broke down here the camera app so it's not that reliable let's test it again now you can see soup then and let's switch out the camera here now you can see me let's try to switch the camera again no, I don't think you can switch from the front camera to the uh, rear camera, but the other way works. But Bliss OS, it's not the, their camera stock app, it's uh, the open camera app. So I don't think it's that compatible with the OS itself. Okay, so this is one of two launchers that are included in Bliss OS. So let's check out the other launcher. So what we're gonna do, we go into settings. And then it's easiest just to type here launcher and then we go to home map and the launcher we're using now it's called quick step and we're gonna test, test taskbar and as you see here now we are in the taskbar launcher and you have your three buttons here and you have the start button here so you can open up the calculator and as you see there the calculator does open but the screen flashes three times to a black screen so every time I press the home button here it flashes and as you see I can also pin my calculator on the bottom here uh, but I would not recommend this launcher as you notice every time I press the home button it flashes to black for three times and it's not 
uh, really customized. It's not um, user friendly, I meant. Uh, so let's go back and change to the quick step launcher. And as you can see here, we're back to the quick step launcher and it works perfectly. You can go to your app drawer and you can open up all your apps and it works seamlessly. So for all you Netflix users out there in the world, Netflix is not compatible with this OS. So if you install this OS, have that in mind. If you go to the Play Store, you will not find Netflix because it's not compatible with this OS. If you have seen our Android x86 video, you saw that we played PUBG on that OS. And that's because we enabled the native bridge function so it could emulate the app for the OS. And unfortunately, we couldn't find that function on Bliss OS. So if there is that function on this OS and you know it, please comment down below and tell us how to do it because we could not find that. So if you can find that function, then you can play PUBG, but unfortunately me and Sudin cannot play PUBG on this device because we did not find that function and we do not know if it even exist in this OS. Thank you so much for watching this video. What an experience this was. Bliss OS. It's a nice looking OS. I think this is the most beautiful Android PC OS out there. But it has some minor bugs as you saw with the black screens and all that stuff. So it's a little more unreliable than Android x86 but I really like the design of it. And with that said it's time to end the video. Don't forget to like this video to show Human Asutin some support with the tech videos here now. And don't forget to share this video if you have any friend or family that loves Android and loves their PC so they can combine these worlds together. And do not forget that bell icon so you can get notified of our recent uploads and you can absolutely not forget the subscribe button it's the most important things of them all so subscribe to human students so we can grow this channel together and do not forget to comment on this video if you have any questions and we will gladly help you and do not forget to comment if you find that function of native bridge on this os thank you so much and do not forget who this is. Human! And Sutan!